Michelin Guide, Wikipedia Article Audio Michelin Guides are a series of guidebooks published by the French tire company Michelin for more than a century. The term normally refers to the annually published Michelin Red Guide, the oldest European hotel and restaurant reference guide, which awards Michelin stars for excellence to a select few establishments. The acquisition or loss of a star can have dramatic effects on the success of a restaurant. Michelin also publishes a series of general guides to cities, regions, and countries, the Green Guides. History Methods and Layout Stars Bib Gurmand Non-Restaurant Food Other Ratings Green Guides Controversies Allegations of lax inspection standards and bias Allegations of prejudice for French cuisine Allegations of leniency with stars for Japanese cuisine Unwanted stars Notable mistakes Published in the 20th century Published in the 21st century In 1900, there were fewer than 3,000 cars on the roads of France. To increase the demand for cars and, accordingly, car tires, car tire manufacturers and brothers A. Per Thousand Duard and Andre Copyright Michelin published a guide for French motorists in 1900, the Michelin Guide. Nearly 35,000 copies of this first, free edition of the guide were distributed, it provided useful information to motorists, such as maps, tire repair and replacement instructions, car mechanics listings, hotels and petrol stations throughout France. Four years later, in 1904, the brothers published a guide to Belgium similar to the Michelin Guide. Michelin subsequently introduced guides for Algeria and Tunisia, the Alps and the Rhine, Germany, Spain and Portugal, Ireland and the British Isles, and the countries of the sun. In 1909, an English-language version of the guide to France was published. During World War I, publication of the guide was suspended. After the war, Revised editions of the guide continued to be given away until 1920. It is said that Andra Copyright Michelin, visiting a tire merchant, noticed copies of the guide being used to prop up a workbench. Based on the principle that man only truly respects what he pays for, Michelin decided to charge a price for the guide which was about 750 francs or $2.15 in 1922. They also made several changes, notably, listing restaurants by specific categories, adding hotel listings, and removing advertisements in the guide. Recognizing the growing popularity of the restaurant section of the guide, the brothers recruited a team of inspectors to visit and review restaurants, who were always anonymous. In 1926, the guide began to award stars for fine dining establishments. Initially, there was only a single star awarded. Then, in 1931, the hierarchy of 0, 1, 2, and 3 stars was introduced. Finally, in 1936, the criteria for the starred rankings were published. In 1931 the cover of the guide was changed from blue to red, and has remained so in all subsequent editions. During World War II, publication was again suspended, but in 1944, at the request of the Allied forces, the 1939 Guide to France was specially reprinted for military use, its maps were judged the best and most up-to-date available. Publication of the annual guide resumed on May 16, 1945, a week after VE Day.
In the early post-war years the lingering effects of wartime shortages led Michelin to impose an upper limit of two stars, by 1950 the French edition listed 38 establishments judged to meet this standard. The first Michelin Guide to Italy was published in 1956. It awarded no stars in the first edition. In 1974, the first guide to Britain since 1931 was published. 25 stars were awarded. In November 2005, Michelin produced its first American guide, covering 500 restaurants in the five boroughs of New York City and 50 hotels in Manhattan. In 2007 a Tokyo Michelin guide was launched. In the same year the guide introduced a magazine, A Per Thousand Toile. In 2008 a Hong Kong and Macau volume was added to the list of Michelin guides. As of 2013, the guide is published in 14 editions covering 23 countries. In 2008, the German restaurateur Julian Casper was appointed editor-in-chief of the French edition of the guide. She had previously been responsible for the Michelin guides to Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. She became the first woman and first non-French national to occupy the French position. The German newspaper Die Welt commented on the appointment, in view of the fact German cuisine is regarded as a lethal weapon in most parts of France. This decision is like Mercedes announcing that its new director of product development is a Martian. Red Guides have historically listed many more restaurants than rival guides, relying on an extensive system of symbols to describe each one in as little as two lines. Reviews of starred restaurants also include two to three culinary specialties. Short summaries were added in 2002-2003 to enhance descriptions of many establishments. These summaries are written in the language of the country for which the guide is published but the symbols are the same throughout all editions. Michelin reviewers are anonymous, they do not identify themselves, and their meals and expenses are paid for by Michelin, never by a restaurant being reviewed. Michelin has gone to extraordinary lengths to maintain the anonymity of its inspectors. Many of the company's top executives have never met an inspector, inspectors themselves are advised not to disclose their line of work, even to their parents, and, in all the years that it has been putting out the guide, Michelin has refused to allow its inspectors to speak to journalists. The inspectors write reports that are distilled, in annual STARS meetings at the guide's various national offices, into the ranking of three STARS, two STARS, or one star a euro or no STARS. The French chef Paul Bocas, one of the pioneers of Nouvelle Cuisine in the 1960s, said, Michelin is the only guide that counts. In France, when the guide is published each year, it sparks a media frenzy which has been compared to that for annual Academy Awards for films. Media and others debate likely winners, speculation is rife, and TV and newspapers discuss which restaurant might lose, and who might gain a Michelin star. The Michelin Guide also awards rising stars, an indication that a restaurant has the potential to qualify for a star, or an additional star. Since 1955, the guide has also highlighted restaurants offering exceptionally good food at moderate prices, a feature now called Bib Gourmand. They must offer menu items priced below a maximum determined by local economic standards. Bib is the company's nickname for the Michelin Man, its corporate logo for over a century. With the blurring of lines between restaurants and other eateries, Michelin is adapting too. From 2014, it had a separate listing for gastropubs in Ireland. 
The 2016 Guide for Hong Kong and Macau introduced an overview of notable street food establishments. The Singapore Guide that year introduced the first Michelin stars for street food locations, for Hong Kong soya sauce chicken rice and noodle and Hill Street Thai Wa pork noodle. All listed restaurants, regardless of their star or bib gurman status, also receive a fork and spoon designation, as a subjective reflection of the overall comfort and quality of the restaurant. Rankings range from 1 to 5, 1 fork and spoon represents a comfortable restaurant and 5 signifies a luxurious restaurant. Forks and spoons colored red designate a restaurant that is considered pleasant as well. Restaurants independently of their other ratings in the guide, can also receive a number of other symbols next to their listing. The Michelin Green Guides review and rate attractions other than restaurants. There is a green guide for France as a whole, and a more detailed one for each of ten regions within France. Other green guides cover many countries, regions, and cities outside France. Many green guides are published in several languages. They include background information and an alphabetical section describing points of interest. Like the red guides, they use a three-star system for recommending sites ranging from worth a trip to worth a detour, and interesting. Pascal R.A. Copyright My, a veteran France-based Michelin inspector, and also a former Galt Milau employee, wrote a tell-all book published in 2004 entitled El Inspector S.C. Met a Table. R.A. Copyright My's employment was terminated in December 2003 when he informed Michelin of his plans to publish his book. He brought a court case for unfair dismissal, which was unsuccessful. R.A. Copyright My described the French Michelin inspector's life as lonely, underpaid drudgery, driving around France for weeks on end, dining alone, under intense pressure to file detailed reports on strict deadlines. He maintained that the guide had become lax in its standards. Though Michelin states that its inspectors visited all 4,000 reviewed restaurants in France every 18 months, and all starred restaurants several times a year. R.A. Copyright My said only about one visit every three a one half years was possible because there were only 11 inspectors in France when he was hired, rather than the 50 or more hinted by Michelin. That number, he said, had shrunk to five by the time he was fired in December 2003. R.A. Copyright My also accused the guide of favoritism. He alleged that Michelin treated famous and influential chefs, such as Paul Bocas and Alain Ducasse, as untouchable and not subject to the same rigorous standards as lesser-known chefs. Michelin denied R.A. Copyright My's charges, but refused to say how many inspectors it actually employed in France. In response to R.A. Copyright Maya's statement that certain three-star chefs were sacrosanct, Michelin said, there would be little sense in saying a restaurant was worth three stars if it weren't true, if for no other reason than that the customer would write and tell us. Some non-French food critics have alleged that the rating system is biased in favor of French cuisine or French dining standards. In the UK The Guardian commented in 1997 that some people maintain the guide's principal purposes as a tool of Gallic cultural imperialism. When Michelin published its first New York City Red Guide in 2005 Stephen Kurutz of the New York Times noted that Danny Meyer's Union Square Café, a restaurant rated highly by the New York Times, Zagat Survey and other prominent guides, received a no-star rating from Michelin. Kurutz also claimed the guide appeared to favor restaurants that emphasized formality and presentation rather than a casual approach to fine dining.
He also claimed that over half of the restaurants that received one or two stars could be considered French. The Michelin Guide New York 2007 included 526 restaurants, compared to 2014 in Zagat New York 2007, after the Four Seasons restaurant received no stars in that edition, CEO owner Julian Nicolina said Michelin should stay in France and they should keep their guide there. The 2007 guide does, however, include menus, recipes, and photographs, and description of the atmosphere of starred restaurants. In 2010 Michelin guides ranked Japan as the country with the most starred restaurants. This sparked questioning over whether these high ratings were merited for Japanese restaurants or whether the Michelin Guide was too generous in giving out stars to gain an acceptance with Japanese customers and to enable the parent tire selling company to market itself in Japan. The Wall Street Journal reported in 2010 that some Japanese chefs were surprised at receiving a star, and were reluctant to accept one, because the publicity caused an unmanageable jump in booking affecting their ability to serve their traditional customers without lowering their quality. Some restaurateurs have asked Michelin to revoke a star, because they felt that it created undesirable customer expectations or pressure to spend more on service and de copyright COR. Some cases A very good restaurant in its category, excellent cooking, worth a detour, Exceptional cuisine, worth a special journey. Coins indicate restaurants that serve a menu for a certain price or less, depending on the local monetary standard. In 2010 France, 2011 US and Japan Red Guides, the maximum permitted coin prices were A19, $25, and A Yen 5000, respectively interesting view or magnificent view, designated by a black or red symbol, are given to restaurants offering those features, grapes, a sake set, or a cocktail glass indicate restaurants that offer, at minimum, a somewhat interesting selection of wines, sake, or cocktails, respectively. Casa Julio after receiving a star for a perfumed cuisine in 2009, the restaurant chef Julio Biosca felt the award was granted to dishes that he did not like and restricted his creativity, and tried to remove his star and in December 2013, discontinued his tasting menu. The removal took place in the 2015 guide, Petersham Nursery's Kaffa Copyright after receiving a star in 2011, founder and chef Sky Jinjal received complaints from customers expecting formal dining, leading to her attempt to remove the star, and subsequent retirement from the restaurant, T. Hughes Van Led, after receiving a star in 2014. Chef Frederick Tuch said he did not want his Michelin star or his points in the Galt Milau restaurant guide because some customers were not interested in simple food. From a Michelin starred restaurant